Project Ahmed, this uh, project that the Israeli Prime Minister has now uh, portrayed in his presentation to the whole world, were you aware of it or was this all new news to you? Certainly IAEA was aware about it. Already in 2005 we started to raise some concerns regarding this program and Project Amand. And then our concerns were raised further during 2008 when we briefed the IAEA board about some of this information which you saw yesterday in the speech of Mr. Netanyahu. So it has been there for a while and the IAEA has tried to dive deeper into the structure of the program and to see where it is heading for. The information that Mr. Netanyahu gave us yesterday, though, was some of that detail not available to you as far back as 2005 or 2009? And had it been available to you, do you think it would have charted a very different course as far as the Iran nuclear deal was concerned? I think that this uh, documentation is actually a matter of concern. This is much more detail what we saw in 2005 and during the subsequent years. But this shows actually a very cohesive approach for preliminary design of a nuclear weapon. So that's why it is a matter of concern. And this actually I would more concentrate here on this IAEA report in December 2015 when the IAEA discussed with Iran about so-called possible military dimension. And when we look at this documentation, and we have to still dive much deeper to that and to understand what exactly is there, it looks to me that uh, Iran was not entirely complying with its obligations to address the IAEA concerns. And as you remember, this was a prerequisite for the implementation of JCPOA. So I think mm -hmm. that this is why the P5 and the international community has to take it very seriously and IAEA has to take a very different look to this material. But Israel is clearly saying that as far as it's concerned, Iran has a, a nuclear weapons program in place right now and this new evidence that they have shows that quite clearly. Are you saying or is the IAEA saying that that is not the case, that even if Iran had been trying to implement or restart a weapons program, your inspectors would have halted that uh, in the last three years. I think that the IAEA has to take another look to this material and look where it leads. There are a couple of concerns I have. First of all, this is much more extensive than what was known before. It has new locations which definitely IAEA has not visited. That's an important. And then we need to remember that this was only documents, papers, mm. computer simulations. We have not seen the equipment and it appears mm -hmm. to me that also equipment was manufactured so the IAEA has to see the equipment, visit the sites and uh, discuss these findings with the relevant uh, scientists and technicians. Yeah, it does seem to suggest though that the, that the Israelis have unearthed some new evidence which would be relevant then to the IAEA and relevant potentially to any new deal should Donald Trump pull the plug on the current deal in, in place? Certainly this problem needs to be addressed. First of all, right. I don't think that the country which has a, is a party to the NPT should maintain this kind of documentation. It's not a period mm. in the spirit of non-proliferation treaty. So mm. there are a lot of things which ought to be done now based on these findings and to find out if there is something else what we have not yet seen. Uh, Mohamed El Varadai, the former IAEA uh, chief, has tweeted uh, to, to comment on this, uh, these new Israeli findings. And he said specifically in this tweet, we're just showing our viewers now, don't destroy the temple. Effectively, seeming to imply that if you destroy the current Iranian nuclear deal that's on the table, that's been signed, that all of the other infrastructure and security and stability of the region would fall away. Would you agree with that analysis? Do you think that this deal is so crucial that if it were to fall, fall apart, that the entire regional stability would be at risk? I think that the deal at least needs to be fixed. We cannot leave a country with this kind of information without knowing what is the real status, whether the single-use nuclear equipment and materials have been really dismantled, is there some undeclared nuclear material still in Iran? 
We remember that IAEA inspectors found some uranium particles at Parchin when they went there in 2015. So there are a number of issues there. Whether this will be an additional uh, agreement to the JCPOA or not, I that leave that one for the policymakers. Oli Heinen, a former Deputy Director General of the IAEA. We very much appreciate you talking to us on CNN. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me.